Hi, my name is Sherry Werner. Thank you to Quilt National for including my work in this exciting show, and I'm honored to be part of it. I live in downtown Manhattan. I commute most weekdays to my studio in New Jersey, which is located in a partially occupied office building. The room I use as my studio was previously a conference room in a law office, and it has plenty of space for two large design walls and room to view my large quilts from a distance. Left behind by the law firm was a wall of file cabinets, which I find perfect for fabric storage. Although I began quilt making 20 years ago, it was only after I retired in 2018 from my career as a dentist that I was able to devote myself full time to making art. I have a few different ways that I get started on a new piece. Sometimes I work intuitively, building my composition organically from fabric pieces I cut freehand and arrange on the design wall. Other times I start creating the design with a cut paper collage and then translate it to fabric. Whichever technique I'm using, I start in black and white fabric to develop figure ground relationships. When I'm satisfied with the graphics of the composition, I then begin to explore color. My quilt that was chosen for Quilt National is called Relic. It is the fourth quilt in a series of 14 I call Manus. The initial idea for this series began in the early part of the pandemic. New York City was overwhelmed with COVID and the city was in lockdown. All the chaos and uncertainty stymied any creative thoughts. After sewing masks for organizations and friends, I finally began making small black and white and then color studies, which got me excited about working again. Of those black and white studies became the basis for the quilt origin, the initial quilt in the Mana series. To create the design for Relic, I made a collage using multiple photocopies of that first quilt, Origin. I cut the copies into smaller units and combined and recombined them to develop new shapes and configurations. Outside images, things I would notice on a walk through the city also factored into my design. Once I had the basis of my design, I began to translate it to black and white fabric on my design wall. I chose to use the color palette from a quilt I had made in 2005, a Goon Goon 2, which hangs behind me and was based on colors found in African mud cloths. I felt earth tones were a good complement to my composition, which had a bold earthy quality to it. Pinning color swatches to the wall, I auditioned colors until I was happy with the overall balance of the design. My fabrics included both hand dyed and commercially dyed cottons. Once all the pieces were cut, I determined how I would design, how I would machine piece the quilt top mapping my sewing lines on a photo of the design and proceeded to sew. The quilt top was then machine quilted to my specifications. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the Quilt National Show.